Adam here from Aqua Life Hub with a short weekly update. I just got back from my trip and I picked up a couple items or a couple creatures really. Ow. So I got, they're currently acclimating, three Mexican turbo snails and two fighting conks. So I'm looking forward to getting these guys in the tank. They're already starting to move around a good bit. Uh, so decided to stop at a store in Kentucky on my way back. So that's fun. And then also, I have finally added my fish from quarantine up here in the middle of the week. So here is the, the, the McCosker's Rass, the second clownfish, and... The firefish. So the firefish uh, apparently had a bit of a run-in with somebody. Uh, if, you, if you look closely, he lost part of his top dorsal fin. I uh, suppose it goes back in two to three weeks. I don't know exactly what happened to him. I can already tell it's grown back a little bit. So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure who took a piece out of his fin. So that's disappointing. But I haven't seen a whole lot of aggression otherwise. Or actually, I mean, I didn't even see that aggression, so I don't really know what happened. Uh, otherwise, everything looks good. Really not much to say this week. I'd, I'd changed the water earlier this week, still fighting all the hair algae. And of course it looks better after a water change. Uh, the flow is currently off, that's why everybody's looking a little funny. So I'm uh, acclimating these guys. But the corals are doing great. Uh, like I said, that, oh, as the flow cuts back on, those bags will probably float around a little bit. But everyone's looking good. I really don't have much to say today. I've been traveling quite a bit. Just got, just had six hours in the car, so I'm sort of running on empty. But I figured the lights were on. I had some new stuff going in the tank. I uh, figured it was worth giving a short update. Uh, the corals all look fantastic. The only ones that are still looking a little bit iffy are... Uh, these guys are still looking a little iffy. The, the Zoas. Uh, and actually... These guys have opened back up, finally. They were closed for a good while due to all this annoying hair algae. Uh, but hopefully these fighting conks, which these are just the coolest creatures, uh, hopefully they help out quite a bit. Uh, and, and the Mexican turbo snails are supposedly voracious eaters. Look at that. that is, I don't think they're happy at the moment. I'm looking forward to getting them out of the bag, but uh, you know, I want to make sure that I acclimate them correctly. Uh, you know, they have bigger issues with pH changes and water chemistry changes than they do with temperature changes. So I'm going to do the, uh, uh, basically the drip method, add a little bit of water to their bag a couple times, and then I'll add them in once we get a, a nice combination of their water versus the water in this tank. Uh, I'd hate for something to happen to them. They're very cool. Um, other than that, not much going on. Uh, hopefully this this week I can just get everybody settled in. Uh, the alkalinity stayed exactly 8.6 in between water changes, so that was really cool that to see that I finally have my dosing right on point. Uh, which you know that's always a challenge. So I, I went about a month and it stayed right on point. Uh, this let's see if you can actually see it. It's sort of hard to see. This torch coral, who's been suffering for a while, it's real hard to get a good view on it. But if you see from the top, some of his tentacles are starting to turn purple again. So I think he's on his way to recovery, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I thought he was going to die. I mean, I, I, he lost all of his color within a day after adding him to the tank. So to see him come back is just fantastic. All right. Well, I will leave you guys with that. I don't need this video to go on any longer than necessary if there's not much to talk about. Uh, and I will see you again next week.